<laughs> oh, the Apple car? Yeah, is that- is this their chance to bring back the term click wheel? If it's steering wheel that you click- Pfft, Apple car. Apple car. Apple is making a car. Apple is making a car. Apple is actually making a car. This is happening, oh my gosh. The potential, what'll it look like? What's Johnny Ives' vision? How's it gonna change the industry? Who's gonna copy them? They're gonna go head to head with Tesla. Okay, I gotta calm down, one sec. Can I just say that like, if you would've said Apple was making a car five years ago, I would've never believed it. They're a tech company, why would they make a car? But something's changed recently that has made all of this possible and that's Tesla. Tesla has changed the possibility of what tech companies can do with cars. They've proven to the world that there's a demand for luxury electric cars that use modern day technology to make the vehicular experience more enjoyable. Apple's jumping on this and I'm so happy for that because I love Apple. If you didn't know, I kind of like them. They're, they make good stuff. Cars are the ultimate mobile device. Everyone in the United States has them, at least, you know, most people. Not everyone needs a laptop or a computer. Maybe some people don't all need a phone, but just about everyone needs to have a car at some point. With the power of cars having modern day tech that can do so many things, not to mention how dangerous cars are right now. Think of how many car crashes there are a year. How many people die just from human error. Tech companies getting on this is literally going to save lives. And with Tesla already making this, it, I'm sure it already has. Just simple auto braking systems that's on all cars now. All new cars that is. That's probably saving lives. I was in my truck and I got hit from the back. If the guy was driving a Tesla that would have been impossible. So as an Apple sheep I'm super pumped to see what Apple, the company that reinvented the personal computer, reinvented the music player, reinvented the smartphone, reinvented the tablet, and is now the leader of smartwatches. I'd love to see how they change the industry that's already super competitive. How would they make their car different than everyone else? So what we do know is that Apple working on the car for sure they've confirmed it and recently they've tripled the amount of staff they've employed so it's well over a thousand employees now just working on what they're calling project Titan maybe that'll be the name of the car I don't know and they have at least 20 employees working in a secret lab in Berlin not sure why they chose Berlin but probably smart because as soon as that thing drives outside and it's on its own track people will be flying drones over it trying to see what's going on maybe in Berlin that's less common I don't know but man I hope they can keep it dead secret because I I want to be able to see the Apple car when it's unveiled, not when someone figures out how to leak it. However, I will look at it if someone leaks it. Because I just have to know, please. But luckily that lab in Berlin is completely top secret and somehow we all know about it. It's in the news, so I guess it's really not that top secret. But Tim Cook has promised us that it's going to be Christmas Eve for a while. And initially they said the release would be 2019, maybe 2020. And knowing how these things go, that probably means 2022. Probably because they're going to run into unexpected obstacles and they'll have to work every everything out and Apple ensures quality on every product and a car is a super complicated device forget the smartphone think of how many things go on in a fully teched out electric car batteries wheels door handles automation sensors cameras on all sides and manufacturing this isn't just like introducing a new smartwatch this is changing everything but here's actually what the most exciting part is for me Tesla made a very expensive car but it caught the eye of lots of people and it proved to everyone look at what an electric car can be it doesn't doesn't have to be this crappy, slow, unfashionable device. It's expensive, but it's great, and now it's trickling down to the mainstream as they make it more affordable. Apple is very similar in this way. They make expensive, but premium devices, and that prove to the world that people want good design, and they want good intuitiveness. So Tesla and Apple share a lot of similarities, but they've never actually had to compete with one another. And now knowing that the Apple car is actually going to happen, this means that these two companies that actually have similar ideologies, similar marketing strategies are going to be competing with each other and I love both of them I cannot wait to see what the Apple car has in store but I also love the Tesla and I'm sure they're working on new stuff every day so who do I root for here now it's not just gonna be like yeah Tesla you're cool it's gonna be okay who's making the best car the competition here has never been so drastic this is the hardest debate of the century for me it's not as big as Mac versus PC iOS versus Android HTC Vive versus Oculus Rift those are all easy choices come on not Iron Man versus versus Captain America, not Batman versus Superman, not Trump versus Hillary or Bernie or what? No, this is YouTube. I can't bring up politics. It goes south very fast. I'll stop. No.
Knowing that in a few years, these companies are actually going to be competing with one another. It's like watching your kids fight each other. Who do you root for? I am not a parent, so that analogy is likely not accurate. Okay, so I'm guessing Apple is the newbie here, so their cars are probably going to be more expensive. I mean, they are Apple. But Tesla also has all those charge stations already put up because they've been doing this for so long. But Apple makes way more money than Tesla, so they can probably afford to put tons of charge stations all across the US and Europe and everywhere. Or do charge stations work with other brands' cars? No, that wouldn't make sense. Why would Tesla fuel the enemy it's competing with? But then again, how would Apple... Oh, sorry. You're here. Hi, internet. There's so much to discuss. The only conclusion I can come to is that we have nothing but good things to look forward to in the automotive industry. One, fully electric cars are safer and more reliable. Two, now that premium electric cars are going to have competitors, they're going to be trying to undercut each other and outperform each other with best features possible. And three, self-driving cars are going to become even more popular and better at driving as competition arises between between these two tech giants. Four, whenever Apple goes into an industry, it immediately gets competitive by people who copy them. This means the Samsung car, the Google car, that's happening already. Microsoft, probably throw in there, why not? Yahoo? No, not Yahoo. They're about to be sold out. But still, tons of other companies, including the already existing car companies like Ford, Honda, they're all gonna have to compete with the Silicon Valley heroes. And I'm gonna hate the Android cars, of course, but they'll still be amazing, I'm sure. So look out, automotive industry. Silicon Silicon Valley is about to change the roads forever. Eh, that was a pretty good one-liner. I'm proud of that. Definitely comment below what you want to see in an Apple car. I've got a big list of things. There's a video I did way long ago, so I might have to update that. But comment down below, and hey, I'll give you credit in my Apple car wish list. All right, cool. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.